PGA Championship 2020 leaderboard breakdown, Jason Day, Brendan Todd holds slim lead on stacked field. A closer look at the top of the leaderboard through round one of the PGA Championship at TPC Harding Park. The first round of golf's only major championship of the 2019-20 season wrapped up Thursday evening at TPC Harding Park in San Francisco, leaving us with a diverse leaderboard and a load of action to dissect at the 2020 PGA Championship. Bryson DeChambeau broke his driver and subsequently cruised into contention by crushing the field in driving distance, Tiger Woods worked his way to within a few strokes of the lead, and three of the world's top five ranked golfers including world number one Justin Thomas, finished the first 18 holes of the tournament above par. Through one round, it's Jason Day and Brendan Todd who stand together as co-leaders at 5-under with Day firing a bogey-free 65 and Todd getting there with a bogey-free final 9. Behind the two are a slew of other contenders at 4-under, among them back-to-back -back PGA Championship winner Brooks Kopka, Xander Schaffel, Martin Kamer, and Brendan Steele. CBS Sports has broken down the PGA Championship leaderboard with all the notable action from round one below, starting with Day and Todd. T1. Jason Day, minus 5, in masterfully maneuvering the course Thursday, Day made his bogey-free 65 look effortless. He drove it well off the tee, commanded his irons with confidence and found some success on the greens, too. Said Day after the round, yeah pretty sound the whole way around. It was his first bogey-free round at a major championship since the third round of the 2017 Open Championship. This after day led all golfers in bogey-free major rounds from 2010-16, Prilaz Sports Bureau. T1. Brendan Todd, minus 5, while Todd 65 wasn't as tidy as that of day, he carded two bogeys on his opening nine, he managed to string together a three under par bogey-free final nine to get him into the tie atop the leaderboard. Todd was far from the favorite entering this event, but the 35-year-old has twice won on tour this season, at the Bermuda Championship and at the Mayakoba Golf Classic. He also worked his way into contention last week in Memphis before fading down the stretch. Todd's not a long and powerful golfer, but he's a wizard with the putter which kept him in the mix Thursday by gaining 3.161 strokes on the field putting. T3. Brooks Kopka, Scotty Scheffler, Martin Kamer, Xander Schaffel, Bud Cauley, Zach Johnson, Justin Rouse, Brendan Steele, Mike Lorenzo Vera, minus 4, coming off a T2 finish at the WGC FedEx St. Jude Invitational last week, Kopka, the back-to-back -back PGA Championship winner picked up where his flame at throwing left off in Memphis. He crushed off the tees Thursday and showed good patience and control with his irons, finishing his round with six birdies and using his length to his advantage. Kopka is peaking at the right time after a roller coaster 2020 that has seen him deal with lingering injury concerns, and he's striking it well enough to be a legitimate three-peat threat at this event. T12. Tony Fanal, Daniel Berger. Gary Woodland and five others, minus three, despite really struggling to find a groove on the greens, and despite hitting only five 14 fairways, Fana turned in a nice three under 67 Thursday, using his brilliant iron game to bridge the gap of inconsistencies between the tee and green. He could just as easily be leading the field if not for some fairly makeable misses on the greens and some struggles controlling the driver. He's in a really good position in spite of all that and figures to be one to watch Friday if he can line out some of those troubles. T20. Tiger Woods, Bryson DeChambeau, Adam Scott, Patrick Reed and nine others, minus two, no one made an under par score look more laborious than Woods did in round one. And it wasn't because of his back. He continuously got himself in trouble off the tee by driving with distance but with little control. Yet Tiger continuously bailed himself out in spectacular fashion with his approach and his putter. Woods recorded 1.228 strokes gained in putting on the field after switching putters for this week, and while saving himself from his driver doesn't seem sustainable, he finished strong and had some good moments that could portend well for his contention into the weekend. As for DeChambeau, 
The most memorable golfer on tour had the most viral moment of Thursday with him leaning on his driver, causing the club head to separate from the shaft. He was four under through ten holes but faded down a stretch, playing his final eight holes at two over. Nevertheless, the big bomber remains well in it entering Friday's second round. T33. Dustin Johnson among 14 others, minus one, consecutive 80s at the Memorial Tournament followed by a WD at the 3M Open raised concern for Johnson, whose back has been giving him fits. But he picked up where he left off last week at the St. Jude Invitational, where he finished T12 with an opening round 69. He struggled with the putter but boomed his drives on average 311.5 yards, trailing De Champu only by a few yards. He looked confident and relaxed, despite playing his final three holes at two over. T49. Rory McIlroy, John Ram, Tommy Fleetwood, Bubba Watson, Heidke Matsuyama among 14 others, E. McElroy birdied his first hole of the day going off number 10 then quickly dug himself into a trench, carding bogeys on 12, 13 and 14 before recovering with birdies on 16 and 18. That was the theme of his day in his final nine as he was missing fairways and leaving himself with four and five foot putts that proved to be his Achilles heel throughout the afternoon. Ram played a similar round at even par but settled in down a stretch. I was impressed with his poise to finish at 2 under on the back 9 after struggling out of the gate with bogeys on 2, 6 and 9. CBS Sports was with you the entire way updating this story with analysis and highlights from round 1 of the PGA Championship. Keep on scrolling for more from the first 18 holes at TPC Harding Park, and click here for a more detailed leaderboard. After 3 months on hold. Golf's first major of the 2020 season is finally underway. The PGA Championship, originally scheduled for May 14 to 17, was one of more than a dozen PGA tournaments postponed from the spring due to the COVID-19 outbreak, a list that also includes the US Open and the Masters, which will take place this fall instead. Golf's fourth major, the British Open, was cancelled entirely. Of course, a PGA Championship held in August isn't such a foreign concept, the tournament had been staged this month nearly every year since 1969 until its move up in the PGA turf schedule for 2019. This year's tournament will be played at TPC Harding Park in San Francisco. Round 1 of the PGA Championship from TPC Harding Park takes place today. The opening round of the PGA Championship gets underway today from TPC Harding Park. All of the stars are in field, including Tiger Woods, Brooks Kopka, Justin Thomas, Rory McIlroy and John Ram. Here's everything you need to know to follow the action. How to follow, all times ET, for round and one leaderboard and round one T times. How to follow, all times ET. Television. Thursday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. ESPN Plus, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. ESPN. Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. ESPN Plus, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. ESPN, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. CBS. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. ESPN Plus, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. ESPN, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. CBS. Radio, Thursday to Saturday, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. The Sunday, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. BGA Tour Radio on Sirius XM and Pritchard.com web link. Thank you for watching, please subscribe channel, like and share video, see you next video.